With this COVID-19 global pandemic, the amount of misinformation circulating online is more rampant than ever. And it's really important that parents, especially parents of children with asthma, uh, go to vetted resources and they get the right information because we wanna have people prepare but not panic. And there's a couple of things in specific to asthma that I want to address. Uh, one is really the use of inhaled steroids. Uh, there's been media reports about how steroids can cause problems with, with COVID-19, but that does not apply to children, and it does not apply to inhaled steroids, and it does not apply to asthma. Inhaled steroids are at a dose that is much, much lower than what we give through uh, a venous infusion or by mouth. Uh, and inhaled steroids are extremely important for people with persistent asthma to try to keep them from having a severe exacerbation. So for anybody who's worried about exposing their child with asthma to steroids, um, you know, a good way that you would increase their risk is by stopping their daily inhaled steroids. So we don't wanna do that because we don't wanna put them at risk to have a severe asthma exacerbation. And it's also important to recognize that we're also in the middle of spring tree pollen season. And tree pollen uh, can cause seasonal allergies in a lot of children, and that often goes hand in hand with asthma. And these symptoms can often mimic what would happen with COVID-19. COVID-19 will cause fever, whereas seasonal allergies will not. But both of them can cause cough, runny nose, difficulty breathing. So now more than ever, we wanna make sure that any child with asthma continues to take their inhaled steroids if they've been prescribed those in the past by their doctor to make sure that their asthma is under good control and they're not at risk to have a severe exacerbation. Mm -hmm.